Picture this, the soft glow of a vintage television set, the familiar hum of static before the screen bursts to life, and there it is, a world waiting to be explored. It's your first encounter with the 1979 TV series, Knots Landing. Maybe you stumbled upon it while channel surfing, or perhaps it was recommended by a friend with a knowing smile. Regardless of how you found it, one thing is certain, your journey into the lives of the residents of Seaview Circle was about to begin. As the opening credits rolled, you were introduced to a cast of characters whose lives were woven together by secrets, desires, and a shared neighborhood. The drama unfolded like a tapestry, each episode revealing new threads that kept you eagerly tuning in. Perhaps it was Karen's unwavering strength, or Gary's struggles that resonated with you. Maybe you found yourself entangled in the tumultuous relationships, feeling the heartache and joy as if they were your own. Do you remember those moments that left you breathless, perched on the edge of your seat? The gasps that escaped your lips as a long-held secret was finally exposed. The tears that welled up as characters faced life-altering choices. These are the memories that remind us of the power of storytelling, of how a television series can become more than just entertainment. It becomes a part of our lives. And now, let's delve into some fascinating tidbits about the show that you might not know. Discover the behind-the-scenes anecdotes, the cast's journey, and the impact Knott's Landing had on the television landscape. From its humble beginnings to its lasting legacy, there's a wealth of information waiting to be unraveled. So, sit back, relax, and let's journey back to Seaview Circle, where the dramas and dreams of Knott's Landing continue to captivate audiences, even years after its first airing. Get ready to dive into the intriguing world of random facts about the show that will enrich your connection to its characters and their stories. Whether you're a die-hard fan or a newcomer curious to explore the past, there's something for everyone in the tapestry of Knott's Landing. So, let's embark on this journey of discovery together and celebrate the magic of television that transcends time. After all, it's not just a show, it's a reflection of human experiences, woven with care and precision. 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 Knott's Landing, a TV series that premiered in 1979, captivated audiences with its engaging drama and character-driven narrative. A spin-off of Dallas, the show originated from the desire to explore the lives of characters beyond the oil-rich Ewing family. Set in a coastal California community, it delved into the intricate relationships and challenges faced by four couples, Gary and Valene Ewing, Karen and Sid Fairnate, Richard and Laura Avery, and Kenny and Ginger Ward. Notable characters like Valene, whose tumultuous relationship with Gary provided a central storyline, contributed to the show's enduring legacy. Unlike its parent series, Knott's Landing focused on character development over melodramatic plot lines, crafting a unique style that resonated with viewers. Its emphasis on relatable interpersonal struggles set it apart, contributing to its 14-season run. The show's impact on popular culture extended beyond its plot lines. It garnered a dedicated fan base and inspired spin-offs and imitators. By highlighting nuanced human dynamics, Knott's Landing influenced subsequent TV dramas. Its legacy endures as a testament to the power of character-driven storytelling. Digging into the show's details reveals fascinating trivia. Did you know that Ted Shackelford, who played Gary Ewing, was the only actor to appear in every episode? Additionally, the show's original title was Seaview Circle. These nuggets of information offer a deeper understanding of the series' production and evolution. Expanding beyond its Dallas roots, Knott's Landing etched its name in television history by focusing on relationships, crafting compelling characters, and inspiring future storytelling. Its legacy lives on, reminding us of the enduring appeal of well-crafted drama. In 1985, Gary Ewing received a fateful phone call informing him of his brother Bobby's tragic demise. But when the producers of the iconic television series Dallas chose to recon Bobby's death the following year, attributing it to a dream of Pam Ewing, the creators of Knott's Landing charted a different course. Determined not to bewilder their viewers, the producers of Knott's Landing opted to remain disconnected from its parent series. Thus, the resurrection of Bobby Ewing remained an unspoken tale within Knott's Landing a narrative thread delicately sidestepped, save for the notable appearance of Gary and Val in the climactic Dallas series finale. Amidst the ensemble cast, 
three stalwarts emerged as the true linchpins across all 14 seasons. Michelle Lee, Ted Shackelford, and Joan Van Ark exhibited unwavering dedication, their portrayals etching a lasting imprint on the show's legacy. In a close second, Pat Peterson lent his presence to all but the final two seasons, a testament to the deep-rooted camaraderie among the series' core players. Distinct yet intertwined, Knott's Landing and its sibling Dallas embarked on parallel journeys, each spanning an impressive 14 seasons. These two television sagas, etching their tales onto the cultural fabric, showcased the enduring allure of enthralling storytelling and the resonating power of the small screen. In the realm of 1979 television, Knott's Landing remains a steadfast beacon, illuminating the nuanced lives of its characters with unyielding conviction. A saga that navigated the tumultuous waters of relationships and ambitions, its unique trajectory set it apart as a singular chronicle, resolutely crafted and expertly enacted. Expertly enacted. Budget cuts and creative shifts shake the foundation of Knott's Landing in the annals of television history. Few dramas have captured the essence of suburban intrigue and personal turmoil as effectively as Knott's Landing. Debuting as a spin-off from its illustrious predecessor, Dallas, in 1979, the series quickly established itself as a compelling force in its own right. However, as the 1980s drew to a close, the show faced the inevitable challenge of dwindling ratings amid rising production costs, prompting a seismic shift that would reshape its narrative landscape. Lorimer Telepictures Productions, the creative force behind the triumvirate of U.S. primetime soaps, Dallas, Knott's Landing, and Falcon Crest, found itself at a crossroads in the late 80 seconds. While these shows had once reigned supreme in the hearts and living rooms of American viewers, their fortunes began to wane. Ratings slipped, yet production expenses remained unwavering. The solution, a necessary belt tightening, which led to budget cuts that reverberated across the show's universes. Knott's Landing, a cherished fixture in the television landscape, was not exempt from this financial recalibration. In a bold move, the creative minds behind the series, David Jacobs and Michael Feilerman, opted for a new direction as the ninth season beckoned. However, this bold pivot came at a cost. Actresses Julie Harris and Constance McCashin, both integral to the show's fabric, were reluctantly bedded you due to the pressing budget constraints. Such decisions marked a turning point, but the trials did not end there. The 13th season of Knott's Landing was a crucible of challenges, marked by the departure of writer, producers Bernard Lechowick and Lynn Marie Latham. Their exit was followed by a notable decline in ratings, accentuated by the fading presence of creator David Jacobs, who faced a health crisis that curtailed his involvement. Jacobs, keenly attuned to the show's pulse, perceived the brewing tempest when the fervent chatter about Knott's Landing dwindled to silence in his cherished diner. A strategic response ensued, with Jacobs halting production on November 20th, 1991. The changing of the guard was evident, as head writer John Romano was shown the door, and Anne Marcus stepped into the role. Yet, the tumultuous period had already etched its marks on the fabric of the show, signaling a dramatic departure from the familiar terrain fans had traversed for over a decade. Throughout its run, Knott's Landing demonstrated an intriguing interplay with its progenitor, Dallas. Characters Gary and Val, portrayed by Ted Shackelford and Joan Van Ark, crossed over into the realm of Dallas, uniting the two narratives in a moment of shared continuity. This union reached its zenith in the final episode of Dallas in 1991 when an ethereal encounter allowed J.R. Ewing to glimpse an alternate reality, a reality where the lives of Gary and Val took divergent paths due to his absence. In the intricate tapestry of television lore, Knott's Landing remains an indelible thread, weaving its way through shifting tides of creativity and economics. The show's journey stands as a testament to the enduring challenge of striking a balance between the demands of ratings and the intricacies of storytelling, a challenge that resonates even in the present day. Donna Mills' cosmetic connection, the eyes have it in the glitzy realm of 1,979 seconds television drama Knott's Landing, where glamorous lives and tangled relationships reign supreme. Donna Mills' Sean is Abby Ewing. With an air of elegance, Mills portrayed the enigmatic character with flair. Yet, it was her behind-the-scenes endeavor that truly dazzled fans. Claiming her stake as a versatile talent, Mills boasted that she orchestrated her own makeup for Abby Ewing's captivating persona. This assertion wasn't just empty talk. 
as evidenced by her foray into the cosmetics world during the 1980s. Mills introduced the Eyes Have It, her own eye makeup brand, along with accompanying tutorials to empower others in mastering the art of enhancing their gaze. Mills' dual role as a TV diva and beauty entrepreneur demonstrated her multifaceted prowess. With the Eyes Have It, she extended her impact beyond the small screen, leaving an indelible mark on the beauty industry. As Abby Ewing mesmerized viewers, Donna Mills' cosmetic endeavors ensured that every gaze she captured would be equally captivating. As we bid adieu to this journey through the captivating world of Knott's Landing, it's fascinating to contemplate the threads that connect us to this iconic 1979 TV series. Just like the intricate relationships woven within the show, our own lives are a tapestry of connections, memories, and emotions. The resonating stories of the characters remind us of our own triumphs, challenges, and the endless pursuit of dreams. As you take a moment to reflect on your personal voyage with Knott's Landing, let the echoes of laughter, tears, and unexpected plot twists stir within you. Perhaps it's the unbreakable bonds of friendship that remind you of your own companions, or the resilient spirit of the characters that mirror your own journey of growth. Whether it's the lavish escapades or the heart-to-heart -heart conversations that linger, there's a unique imprint that this series has left on your life. Your experience, your memories, and your perspective are what make this journey extraordinary. So, take a moment to share your favorite recollections, cherished moments, and profound thoughts about Knott's Landing. Engage in conversations with fellow enthusiasts, and let the beauty of this series continue to shine through the power of shared connections. Thank you for embarking on this exploration of human relationships, emotions, and drama with Knott's Landing. Your time and interest are deeply appreciated, as together we celebrate the timeless impact of a show that remains etched in our hearts and minds. Until we unravel more tales together, keep those memories alive, and the conversations flowing, with warmth and nostalgia, nostalgia, nostalgia.